Let's build a simple app in Sway. We're going to be building a counter smart contract. So to start off with, I'll initialize a project by typing fork new and the name of the project, I'll name it counter. Once that's done, it will create a folder. So I'm going to open it and inside source main, this is where our smart contract is located at. So we'll modify this file to create a counter contract. The first thing that I'll do is rename my contract to counter. Counter and counter. And let's start with the state variables. To declare a state variable, we type storage. And inside here, we'll declare the type of data that we want to store. For the counter example, we want to store a number. I'll name it count. And this will be of type u64. Unsigned integer 64 bits. And this will be equal to zero. So here, we're initializing a state variable. It has a single state variable called count of type u64, and we initialize it to zero. Okay, next, let's define the ABI interface. So this will be the functions that we want to be able to call from outside of the contract. For example, we want to be able to get the current count. So how we do this is by first declaring that this function will read from the storage. We do that by typing hashtag brackets storage parentheses and inside storage we type read and then let's declare the function to get the count fn get and this will return by u64 the current count and i'll remove this test function and we'll do something similar to increment the count we'll name it inc and instead of having it be storage read we're also going to update the state variable so it'll be read and write and let's also return the current count after updates. So we'll return a type of u64. Okay, one more example. Let's create another function called dec. And when we call this function, it should decrement the count, the storage count, by one. And then after it decrements, it will return the current count. So this is how we define the interface for the counter contract. Next, we'll actually need to implement these functions inside here. So first I'll copy all of this interface and then paste it here. And then we'll actually write the functions. To get the count, all you have to do is type storage.count. Now another way to do it is to say return storage.count with a semicolon. Or we can simply just say storage.count. So these two statements, return storage.count semicolon, and storage.count without semicolon, they do the same thing. They return the state variable count, which is of type u64. That completes the function for get. Let's next work on the function to increment the count. To do that, all we have to do is say storage.count plus equals one. Increment it by one. And then to end this statement, we'll end it with a semicolon. And for this function, we're gonna return the current count. So what we have to do is type storage.count. And again, over here, we can also say return storage.count, but we can write it in a shorter way by just typing storage.count. The last value in a function is the value that is returned. And make sure that you don't put any semicolons. Okay, let's work on the last function, decrement the current count. I'm gonna copy the code inside increment, paste it here, and all we have to do is change the plus to a minus. Save the file. And let's try compiling this contract. I'll open my terminal, clear the logs. Make sure that you're inside the counter folder. So I'll cd into counter folder. And to compile the contract, all you have to do is type fork build. And our contract compiled successfully. So for the last part of this video, I'm going to copy this code and then deploy it to testnet and we'll call some of the functions. So first I'll copy this code. And then inside my browser, I've navigated to swayplayground.org. And then I'll paste the code and I'll compile the code. Once the code is compiled, I'll deploy it. So this will deploy to testnet beta 3. This will pop open my field wallet. So I'll approve the transaction. And the contract is now deployed to testnet. So let's try calling some functions. Let's call the function get. The current count should be equal to zero. So I'll call the function call and the current count is zero. Now here notice that we have dry run enabled. This means that it's just simulating a transaction. So we're not sending any transaction to update the state variables inside the counter contract. 
Now what I want to show you next is what happens if we try to decrement the count. Notice that first the count is still equal to zero and the type of count is unsigned integer 64. This means that we cannot have negative numbers, but what happens if we minus one to zero? Let's try simulating the transaction. So again, our current count is zero and by calling dec, we're decrementing from zero to negative one. Simulate the transaction and notice that it returns an error. This is because there was an underflow error and the transaction reverted. So unlike Solidity, it looks like Sway has overflow and underflow errors built in to the language. Let's try calling the function inc. And this time we'll actually send the transaction. So I'll disable dry run and then call the function call. Approve the transaction. And once the transaction is finalized, we get a value back of one. So now our current count is equal to one and we should be able to call the function deck now. Let's do that. And I'll actually send the transaction again. So call call, approve the transaction. Transaction was successful and it returns the current count to be equal to zero.